These are the upcoming patch notes we have here. So, this is for the Overwatch 2 PvP beta patch. It's um, the second one they've done. Initially, there was um, some other stuff they had last week with changes, but this week, we have more changes with it. So, the first change they have is Baptiste. The regenerative burst is now heals for 50 instantly and 50 over time instead of 100 over time. So you get a burst heal, it seems like. Additionally, the instant heal portion will be doubled on targets that are 50% or lower health. Please note that we are aware of an issue with this ability is not updated on the hero information screen. No longer heals Baptiste for double. This change helps reinforce Baptiste as a support hero that can save allies in clutch moments. This new functionality is intended to synergize with a more immortality field allowing for faster recovery after saving his allies or himself from imme uh, from imminent danger. So, wow. So it actually instantly heals on double. Okay, that that's that's quite the change. We're going to have to go test that out in a second here. Mercy, Guardian Angel can now also be canceled by using the crouch key. If this key is used to cancel the ability, Mercy will be launched high into the air. This is an initial implementation of new functionality designed to give Mercy players more options in how they use Guardian Angel. Some Mercy players were able to already able to do similar boosts by using a somewhat complicated technique, often referred to as Super Jump. This new functionality will allow all players to more consistently perform similar boosts, while the original technique is still there and remains untouched. In some ways, this new cancel boost is even stronger than the original technique, since players are able to do this at any time rather than requiring them to be near their target. This is an, just an initial implementation and we're eager to get feedback on how to improve it. Can now also be canceled by using the crouch key. If this key is used to cancel the ability, Mercy will be launched high into the air. We're gonna go test this out, chat. Uh, Sojourn, the railgun primary rate of fire increased from 13 to 15 shots per second and maximum ammo increased from 40 to 50. Sojourn has been a little weak since her initial addition to the roster, while this change doesn't seem huge, increasing her rate of fire increases her alternate fire charge rate and ultimate gain, as well as purely increasing her primary fire's raw DPS. Whenever a weapon's rate of fire changes, it's also how quickly the weapon will drain its magazine and run out of ammo. We're increasing her ammo count to compensate for this. So, I mean, overall, it sounds like they really wanted to buff... Um, It sounds to me like what they want to do is make it so it's easier to do super jump on Mercy. Baptiste has a little bit more burst healing now. And Sojourn has a little bit more uptime and a quicker ultimate, um, which makes sense and has a better, like, just overall gameplay there. So what we're going to do is we're going to reopen the game here, and I'm going to go try out some of these changes, especially with the Mercy one, because I'm curious. Are you ready? Here we go. Don't worry. I'll be right behind you. So if I Guardian Angel and then I hit Crouch... Oh, there it is. The Watch Chat. If I go to the, the bot here and then I Crouch, look at that. I, that's all you do. When you hit crouch, that's what it does. Checking in. That's what it does. There it is. There it is. Watch. The mobility now is going to be like... Obviously with super jump, but now you have that mobility. Here it is. Yep, so if you cancel crouch as you're going, that's what it does. That's what it does. 100%. Wow, you can get really good mobility with that. What the? Okay. There you go. So that is the change they have done to Mercy right now with the, the crouch. So you can do that pretty much from any range, and it's a lot easier to do that than super jump. Like, all you have to do is hit your crouch. That's it. So you just hit this, cancel your crouch, or hit the crouch to cancel it, and there you go. So now you can do that movement like that. Now, obviously, they might do changes to that overall, but that's what they currently have. Okay, now let's look at BAP. So BAP, apparently, if I'm understanding this correctly. So in theory, if I do this right now, wait, oh wait, I have to do it quickly. Let me take a bunch of damage. If I do it, it should instantly heal me for 50. It did, yep. So if you saw right there, it immediately healed me for 50 and then 50 over time. Obviously with the new change they have with the, with the being out of combat, it can be tough, but watch. Watch my HP, bottom left. Now watch when I hit the button here. It should go to 50 right away, see? Look how much... Oh, my. Oh, my. I thought that was 50. Wait a second. Do you see the heals on the bots when I use that? Watch this. 
Oh yeah, you're right when you're low. You're right, it's doubled when you're low. Look at that, look at the AOE heals. Yeah, it's doubled when it's low. So it's 100 when you're low HP. 50 when it's not, look at that. Oh wait, no, is it 75? Oh, no, it doubles, it doubles, yeah. Watch, watch. No, don't die. Look at the damage, now watch their HP. They're at half HP. Oh my. So one more time to show you. Look at that AOE heal, that's unbelievable. That is so much AOE heals. And then Sojourn. Watch. Do so you have more ammo now? Which means you're gonna have a little bit more uptime on your right click, so it's gonna allow for you to have like a better ultimate, is what it seems like. Yep. Wait, what did they do to Sojourn again? What was the exact stat on this? Oh yeah, your primary fire increase. So if you look right now, it seems like you shoot a little bit faster, right? There you go. Railgun charge. Double kill. This ends now. There you go. Yep. And there you go. That is the patch. Once again, I, I, I like what they've been doing with the patch overall, where they've been kind of like adding these like different, like kind of changes to heroes to add to make them a little bit more exciting. Now, obviously, some of these changes won't stay or go through, but overall, I think that was um, they did a pretty good job with that. Like, I mean, not like what I mean by that is they're just making changes now whether or not like the mercy change will stay or the bat change will stay they're trying to make it so supports have a little bit more like excitement to their kit and i think that's what they're aiming for whether or not that will stay through we'll have to see so yeah so yeah that's the patch